Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to The Infected. So today, we are going to go out and try and get one more tech. Everyone in the comments section said, Cage, try and get one more tech before winter hits. Try and get one more, try and get, well, maybe more than one tech. We're going to get as many tech as we can. Um, hopefully, there'll be two tech at the area we're going to. But yeah, yeah, we're going to, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I like what I'm hearing from you guys. I do have some comments that I wanted to go over. First of all, someone said crocodile farming is not only good for liver, it's also good for getting meat, croc skin, and bones. And I'm thinking, okay, meat is important, but croc, croc skin? Like, what do I need croc skin for? They said sell them at the trader. I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea. Um, tea and coffee are also good for selling at the trader. Make sure to make them into drinks with an empty can first. Here's the thing, though. I don't want to be sacrificing empty cans at the trader. Uh, so uh, maybe the trader gives you the empty can back, but... I don't know. I mean, don't forget, that's like an empty can is... That's um, uh, aluminum, right? We can make empty cans, I think. I'm pretty sure we can make empty cans. And I think it's aluminum. Let me know about that. But yeah, I don't want to I don't want to be losing uh, empty cans. So I don't know if I'm going to sell that stuff to the trader. But yeah, I mean, go croc hunting and then sell it all to the trader. And the trader has some pretty sick stuff. Someone told me that... Someone said in the comments section, maybe I'm reading this wrong. Um, today I got the bag upgrade to 100, cost 650, but I love it. What? Wh you mean this? We could get this up to 100? Does the bag get any bigger? I gotta check out the trader. We won't be doing it today, but I, n n as soon as winter's over, the first thing I will do is check out the trader. Um, and I gotta, you know, if anyone has anything they want me to sell to the trader, anything that is good to sell to the trader, uh, let me know in the comments right now. Uh, like I said, go hunt crocs and sell all the stuff you get from the crocs. Uh, what else did we used to make? Did, wasn't fishing bait something for the trader? I think fishing bait was was something we were supposed to sell to the trader. I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't know why I'm going all the way to the water when I have a basin right there, but whatever. It's, <laughs> it's done now. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and empty that. Cool. I did do some busy work here, but I don't remember exactly what I did off camera. So if you say anything new, I did it off camera. I am going to make the better fireplace. I'm not really sure why this fireplace is better than the other one, but everyone was telling me to make it. So I was like, hey, it, you know, everybody can't be wrong, right? And there we go. We got 10. Let's get the steel out of there. And boom. Now, where do I want to put this thing? I definitely want it up against the wall. I'm right here. Yeah, boy. Is that going the right way? Yes, it is. This is one of those survival games. I'm going to get a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to get. It, I'm gonna be a little bit philosophical here. Oh, it's... Hold on one second. It's not going the right way. Uh, is that going the right way? I can't tell because I can't see the top of it. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. If I sound like I got quieter, it's because I was literally moving my head away from the... Uh, uh, from the monitor, thinking I'd be able to see it better if I did that. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some coal in there, just so we don't have to do it later. And there we go. Wait, what? 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 what hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? What's going on? Marco, what's going on? Fireplace. Coal heater. Okay, so I guess it takes some um, firewood. All right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean... Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it does show wood right there. It makes sense. All right, I like that. And there we go. It's now full. So we will be good. Now, I, I want to go out to that town today, but it's too late in the day. So we will go out first thing tomorrow, and it's already November. So, I mean, I'm I'm kind of pushing here. Let's make the jacket. Let's make the jacket. That's one thing I did a lot of off camera. I, I farmed a bunch of uh, a bunch of feathers up. Oh, also, people said, someone said, break the bones down into the bone shards. They weigh less and get you more money. So, that's awesome. And what do I say, what else do I need for the jacket? I have a feeling it's like plant fiber, but... Yep, that's what I thought. Actually, I didn't even look. I'm just assuming that's what it was. <laughs> Let me make it on the workbench, right? Let's see, jacket. Winter coat, not jacket, winter coat. So here's the deal. Do I want to take that winter coat with me while I'm out? Because if winter hits, I'm going to want to have it. Uh, I mean, as you can see, it does take up a good amount of room. But I think it'll be okay to take it with us like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I still have a lot of feathers left over. 
if you just look around, there's a lot of dead birds all over the ground, so they're easy to miss, though, so you got to pay attention. Next thing we're going to do is make some tallow, and I'm also going to take any tallow I have in here. There we go. I'm also going to take this and this. We're going to make some healing items, obviously. All right, that's looking good. Um, might as well take that. You might be thinking, Cage, you have so much spoiled food. What is it, what is it good for? Spoiled food. Huh. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. No, that's not true at all. It's going to make biofuel. And it is going to be wonderful. All right, so I'm going to just make all this into... Oh, wait, how do I make that into tallow? I thought it said on the workbench. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's not in there. It's in here. Craft at the workbench using animal fat. Two animal fat. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just do it like this. Is there any reason to keep animal fat? Um, here, let's do this. So why can't I... Why doesn't it make as much as I can? Like, if it's too... Why can't I make seven like this? It's kind of weird. All right, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to split this in half. I'm just going to put this on the ground. And then I'll turn it all into animal fat. I don't know. I, I'm probably missing something obvious here. But there we go. All right. So now we have animal fat. Let's see what we need for bandages. So we need medica uh, medicated bandages first. So, And I think you use regular... No, you don't use regular bandages for that. Uh, plant fiber. Okay. And what do we... Oh, no. Is this in the chemistry station? Tell me this is not in the chemistry station. It's in the workbench. Thank goodness. Get nervous there for a minute. And uh, go. All right. Now we're up to eight. What did I run out of? Oh, the... um. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I ran out of the mushrooms, which is fine because you don't need mushrooms for the other bandages. All right. So now we're eight and nine. Seems pretty good to me. So I got cold out here. I had to put the jacket on. And I also made some other items. I made um, snow pants, which are plus two armor, plus 10 heat. Obviously, I put the jacket on, and then I made leg armor, which is 10 armor. It was the best armor I could make with the amount of Kevlar I had. So I made my hat a f last episode or the episode before, and my shield in episode one. I think we are getting close to leaving here. Um, I could probably stay up and do some, like, work, but honestly, I just want to get going. <laughs> so I'm going to oversleep here just because I want to get I want to get daylight going. Um, I think it, you start at daylight at, like, 7, but I'm going to start at 6. Well, I guess 6.30. <laughs> and let's go ahead and eat. Here we go. Beautiful. Um, I'm not going to bring too much food. I'm going to bring some food, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to loot it at a, at a like, a freaking town there's gonna be tons of food there you know what now i'm sticking with my instincts i'm not bringing any food I, don't, I really don't see a point because like i said there's gonna be more food there than i can eat i usually come back with food that spoils so we are not gonna do that now we will save the game before we leave and we are going to go for i guess this base so i'm gonna come up here make a left and then make another left and we're gonna go right there and see what's what. Um, let me show you what I'm bringing with me. Uh, should I bring rope? Don't I need rope? Yeah, I need rope. Cause I, I don't know if I'm gonna make. I don't know if I'm gonna make uh, spike traps or anything. I might not. It, it really did take a long time to make all those spike traps and deal with them. Uh, although they were efficient, can't can't deny that. But um, yeah, you know, I I was practicing this. I was practicing with my shield in between episodes, and I think if I fight guys one on one. I could probably defeat them with my shield. I do have a brand new bone spear. Um, the bone spear is going to run out of durability, though. So eventually, I will need to probably mess with some spikes. But we'll see. We'll see. I got to get... See, the thing is, the advanced work table would get me a steel spear. But I would need steel for it. Uh, because there's no iron spear. I don't know why there's not an iron spear. But it would be nice if there was. Uh, I, now, I do have one steel. I could make the steel spear. The thing is, I can't repair it. Uh, the thing I need to repair it is... That thing's bouncing around behind me. You see the, you see the shadow. <laughs> yeah, whatever. As long as it stays attached. Um, yeah, the steel spear. I can't repair it. So once it gets damaged enough, I'm kind of screwed. And um, I'm gonna say again. I think the tool holder, the the tool and weapon holder, weapon racks or whatever. I don't think that should require tech. I, I don't. I don't think that should require tech. It's it's too. 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess you could say, well, it's it's important. And well, if it's important, then spend tech on it. Well, it's not that important. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what's what. Right now, I'm not going to worry about. It. I'm just going to go in there and fight and use a shield, and we'll you know we will adjust accordingly. Uh, all right. So yeah, right here. And are we, is that the town? I saw. I thought I saw some buildings on the right, but I guess not. Oh, there's some buildings. All right, so we're just gonna take the road right into town and see what's what, and we're go we're going in we're going in heavy. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Right, I'm not seeing anybody yet. One thing I do not want is to get attacked when I'm not looking. But I also don't need to go looking for trouble when there's no trouble present. Yes. Uh, yes. And, oh, don't stab it. Good. Eh, I don't need that. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, don't, I don't like being, you know what, I'm going to empty these just so they say they're empty. Uh, I don't like being this quiet because I'm doing a let's play here, but man, I, I need to be able to hear. All right, that's right off the bat, something I can eat. Oh, crap. What's my water situation at? Damn it. Ah, I should have came out with 200 water. That was stupid. Although it'll probably be okay. Alright, looking good. Looking good. We got anything out here? Damn, this would have been a nice building to live in. Thought I saw something moving over there. Can you actually live in the buildings? I've never, like, tried. I don't think you can build in them. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh... Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, what, could I put like a door here or something? Well, I'd have to put down a foundation, but and the foundation. Well, you'd have to have the foundation line up properly with the door, and I could, I might be able to live in a place like this. Foundation. Yeah, look at that. You put down a foundation right there, and then you try and put the wall right on it. Oh, man. I don't want to play around with this all day because it's not what I'm here for, but... Okay, so... That's not snapping into the foundation. I, I don't know if you can actually build... Delete. I can't delete it. Alright, whatever. I, I'm gonna have to mess around with that at some point. I don't know if you can actually put foundations on... I don't think you could put walls on foundation. You may be saying cage. Of course you can't. Ooh, tech! Nice! Now you may be saying, well, of course you can't, cage. There we go. Of course you can't cage, but like you gotta understand, I play a lot of survival games, so I get I get it mixed up. But yeah, you can't put them down there until they're actually made. And it's something I'm uh, gonna want to think about because that would be pretty cool to live in a POI, like just for the I don't know the cool factor. Although you probably have enemies all your like in your face all day, they'd probably be like respawning here and stuff, and that would be kind of annoying. But, I don't know. might be worth it for the cool factor alone. Alright. Nothing there. Save the game. And we are done with this house. Pretty sure. And I already found one tech. There could be two... Uh, I think there could be one to three tech, people are saying, and, you know, wherever you are. Um, but most of the time, it would probably be two. But it could be one to... Oh! Man, what a dick. Okay. See, the thing is, when you get hit with the shield, it feels to me like you're still taking damage. But you're not. That's why I never bothered using the shield. Because in a lot of games, if you can't, like, if they do too much damage, you'll still take damage, even if you're blocking with a shield. But in this game, it's different. As far as I can tell, the shield blocks everything. And that's not always the case in a lot of these games. So when I was getting hit, you know, uh, I was always just like, eh, I'm probably taking damage, and I never really looked into it very closely but that is interesting okay again I don't like the way he freaking snuck up on me though see are they on the sides or something or also this spear is not gonna I mean there's one guy and this spear is almost 25% gone so yeah I mean that's not gonna it's not gonna really work very well so we're probably gonna have to go to spikes at some point anyway 
Um, at least until we get better, you know, better spears. Uh, eat that. Take that. Right. Damn it, I didn't get the shield up quickly enough. Right, you gotta... You can't bring the shield up too quick, it'll interrupt your stabbing motion. Well, the arrows saved me a little bit of durability on my shield, but... I gotta go get those other arrows. Oh, the truck! The truck is here, interesting. I'm in no position to repair the truck. But it's cool that it's here. Crap. Are those two going to come if I shoot one? Will they come at me at the same time? You know, I'm not really sure. And I... Alright, whatever. Let's, let's give it a shot. Can't see anything. This is stupid. Fog. Where the hell is he going? Attack. 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 Oh boy. You know, for a spear, it really doesn't have much range. Okay. Looking good. Let's go get those arrows back. I don't know where that jackass is running to, by the way. Watch out for his ass. Oh, I shot right in this door. <laughs> I couldn't do that again if I tried. Is he gonna come back or? I'm just gonna run through here. Oh, there's a guy over there. Yeah, the thing is, I don't like that that guy is aggro, but now he's like not here. You know what I mean? Let's look in here. Oh, freaking tired. Not good. Do not be running out of stamina like that. Stupid. I didn't think he would be here, but eh, I figured I'd give it a give it a look. Give it the old look see. And that. Yes. Yes. Gus, you'll be able to make gas eventually, but you know it's a little far down the. A little far down the tech tree. Although, I guess if you use your tech, you could have it sooner rather than later. Right, let's see what we got outside. That guy over there is going to come here. Alright, so this is this is the, the ultimate vehicle in the game. It's the truck. And if you look on the bottom left-hand side, that's what you need to repair it. And again, I am in no position to repair it, but that is okay. We'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. Let's go on down here and get our vehicle. I don't know why I'm, I'm saving so much. Yeah, it's, you know, not only because, like, if something goes catastrophically bad, uh, but, you know, games crash all the time. You know, I had, uh, I was playing Orbound yesterday and it crashed on me. It cost me, like, 20 minutes of gameplay. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, I hate having to do stuff I've already done. Good. Yeah, we are going to do this whole place today. No doubt. Yeah, people say, people are like, Cage, use the spear, use the shield. And I'm like, no. And they're like, Cage, use the shield. And I'm like, no. And then I'm like, okay, I use the shield and it's awesome. Did I just hear something or... I don't know. Anyway, then I use the shield and it's awesome. So, like I said though, it's like, you know, you use it and it, you, you feel like you're getting hit, even when you're not. So that's why I was having problems with it. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, it was a, 
fucking cow sounding animal outside. <laughs> All right, very good. Take that, throw that out. Take that, nothing there. The only thing I wouldn't like about building in these POIs, you can't really do anything with them. Like, I don't think I could even break this stuff. Yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to build here or in any POI. Because if you can't break stuff, that that that's going to suck. Just got to be careful. They just, you know, now that I can handle them with the spear, it's great. But the thing is, they, they sneak up on me and hit me in the back. I'm not getting a lot of food here, which is weird. Because I was saying before I left, I don't need to bring any food. There's going to be food everywhere. It's going to be a regular smorgasbord. All right, here we go. This guy will definitely attack me from behind. He'll wander back and attack me when I'm not looking. Cool. Good job with this with the shield, Dev. Like for real. I'm sorry. I um, sorry I didn't believe in it. <laughs> Go ahead and drop stuff off as quickly as possible. Move all. Yeah. The move all only works with certain things, obviously. And why did I pick the gas back up? You'll, you'll see. This is where I keep the gas. Okay. Let's hit this place. Oh, I already hit that place. Really? Okay. I'm getting turned around, I think. I got to go down that way. Yeah, I'm getting turned around. I'm coming back the wrong way. Go go with the way your ATV is facing, Cage. Alright. Let's see what this place got. Uh, yes, 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 yes. There might be only one tech in this place, I guess. Unless I, I am getting turned around. So, <clears throat> maybe I missed a house or something. If I, if I finish quickly enough like with enough time i'll kind of go around off camera and see if i if i missed anything it's looking good empty empty any stairs no stairs okay we got a big old house here big old house yep that's a guy What's up, bro? I don't like that. He's not calling more guys in, is he? I don't think so, but he's got me nervous. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. I don't bother closing the doors because I think the enemies can just open them now. And nothing in the toilet. No toilet water in this game, huh? Dude, where's all the food? This is so weird. I mean, I wouldn't say no to seeds, but... Damn. Also, some drinks would be nice. Like cans of soda or something. I'm going to have to be careful what I eat now because water is becoming an issue. See right there? Only 44 clean water left. Should be enough, but if I start eating salty bacon and stuff by the truckload, it could cause an issue. Okay. So for here. All right, let me sit up. This is a sit up in the chair situation. I can't believe I was sitting back. Can I sit in this chair? Oh, I should be able to sit in chair, man. I didn't bring enough stuff to make a chair. Okay. Oh, there we go. Second tech page. Beautiful. You guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think I should spend that tech page? Those two tech on. Um, I will wait till next episode to spend them. 
because we're going to have to do some work at, at home over the next few videos because winter is going to come. There is a chance there could be a third tech page here, I think. I remember some people saying that. So I will continue looting the place. What time is it? It's noon. Okay. So the day's, you know, getting along, but it's not like late or anything. Just look around. Okay. Everything looks okay. So just kind of put everything in here. It's about to get kind of full, but just if, we, if we need some backup storage, we still have some here. I'm really glad I found the vehicle. Am I going to remember the vehicles here? Probably not, but whatevs. <laughs> it will be quite a few uh, episodes before I can get the vehicle, so uh, by the time I can get it, I'm going to be like, oh, where's the vehicle? I think I found it, but I don't remember where it was. I'm pretty sure I did this. Yep. Uh, I think we have one more house to do. Come on, man. Switch to the freaking... One, two. I'd prefer not to get hit. I don't think that extra hit is worth it, but... Eh. I got a couple in there. No big deal. So I did loot this place, right? Did I loot all of this place? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I did. I did. There wasn't much in there anyway. And I think I looted this building, so I think we're done. Let me just come through here really... Oh. Oh. Maybe not. I wonder if the enemies are opening up these doors. Because there's two doors open in here. And I saw two doors open in another building. And I don't usually open two doors. So... That is interesting. Finally, something good on the food menu. Oh, am I full? Oh, crap. Because <laughs> I wasn't emptying that because I didn't, I didn't see the... Yeah, I don't usually look at the food part of the bag. Eh, I might as well dump it in here. There we go. Looking good. Good enough. Now, yeah. eh, now let's leave the rest in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that room for other things because I, I don't think I'm gonna find that much more food. Where did I end off? I don't remember. Good. There we go. More eggs. Eggs last so long in this game. It's not even funny. And, ugh, come on, man. Okay, so I think that's everything for over here. Everything over here. Next is upstairs. You need to get third tech. I don't mean to sound greedy, but I could really go for a third tech right about now. But that's okay. Good for vitamins. Good for vitamins. I think we're just about done with this place. I am going to look around the outside of the buildings, though. Because there sometimes can be loot on the outsides. Although I haven't, like, ever found anything great on the outsides. It's usually just basic loot, but eh, basic loot's still loot. Yeah, that's it. This place is done. I picked this place clean. Except for that freaking truck. For those of you who don't know, this truck can hold multiple boxes. Like, I think 12 boxes or something. It's freaking crazy. <clears throat> now, this thing used to kind of suck, but with this um, trailer, it's really good. So, like, I'm not like, oh, my God, I'll get that truck as soon as possible. I mean, I do want the truck, but I'll get it when I get it. It's not like the end of the world. Here we go. Oh, thought I could loot that. Uh, has anyone ever found tech on the outside, like on a table or anything? I've never found tech on a table on the outside. But, I don't know, man. I'm kind of thinking about it, wondering. That. And we got all our stamina back. I don't know of any other buildings. Did I look around this yellow building? I don't think I did. Oh, crap. I, not crap. I just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> it's not worth it. Whatever is around that yellow building is not worth having to deal with somebody again. And not that I can't deal with them, but my spear is almost broken. All right, guys. Let's head home. Oh, boy. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to deal with you. Don't want to deal with you. 
Spear's almost broken. I'm going to call this a win and GTFO. The big ass freaking bear right over there. It's weird. I, I drove by him. He didn't like, he didn't come at me or anything. That is really interesting. Bears are no joke. What hell are you doing, bro? Does he get hurt or? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Okay, so the spear does work on him. On him. I wanted to actually try the spear, and then I was like, I was too, I was too worried about it. Um, and three arrows usually kills him, but I, he didn't seem to care. And uh, yeah, that was that was a little scary. That was a little scary. Where the hell is my cart? What's it doing out here? I was probably gonna cut down some trees or something. No, the bear is going in the cart now, and I will probably hold on to him for his liver. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll make more carts and everything. But I'm going to hold on to him for his liver. I'll, I might just eat it, but we'll see. I, I want to keep one backup liver. I know I'm, I know I'm not really close. Uh, in order to get the, the reason I would need the liver, guys, in case you're wondering, is for the NPC. The NPC is awesome. He will be who will cut down all your trees for you. He's unbelievably good. But you need a lot of stuff for him. The antidote, I need the bear for the liver for the antidote. The reason I want to keep him on the cart is because it will, it'll never go bad on the cart. And if I, you know, cut the liver out now, it'll be bad in no time. But the thing is, in order to PC container, yeah, in order to get the NPC, you need to make the house, which um, I could theoretically do now because I don't need any ingots for it. Whoa, I, these are really close. I didn't. I thought you would need copper and all this stuff for these, but no. All you need is a bunch of bunch of wood, basically, and a little bit of um. Maybe I should get the clay, the clay miner. I don't know. This is what I'm thinking about for next episode, guys. I'm kind of locked in on this, but if you have, if you can make a case for other things, then cool. But what I think I'm going to go for as far as tech for next episode is I'm going to go for the extractor technology. Oh, it comes with the clay soil extractor. Yeah. So I could get clay and mineral stuff. Yeah, that's, I'm 99% I'm going to go for that. And the other thing I'm probably going to go for is the circular saw bench. And the reason I want to do the circular saw bench is because I want to start building. And the circular saw bench is way better at cutting logs because these things only give you two, two, two planks per log. The circular saw bench gives four. So I really want the circular saw bench. The problem with the circular saw bench is I would need oil for it. And I don't know how much oil I have. I have six oil right here. Seven. A few more in here. It's, it's actually a pretty decent amount of oil for the circular saw bench. It doesn't, like, guzzle oil, but... I don't know. So uh, mineral extractor, I'm almost guaranteed going for it, the extractor technology. And I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, circular saw bench for the planks. And I will save him for now for the liver. Because if I ever find that guy, I'm going to want to get him back here, man. Once he starts cutting down trees, you are mwah, golden. Not only will he cut down trees, he'll also he'll also work the farms for you. And he will also um get stone for you. So he's, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to want him. The problem is... Um, once I put down the NPC buildings, they're pretty big. I'm not going to want to move them. So I'm going to want to make 100% sure that when I put down the NPC buildings, that's exactly where I want them to build. And if I'm going to do that, I need to have an outline for my base. And I don't have that yet. But I do have a long winter to get through. So I guess I got some time to think about it. All right, guys. I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.